Manchester United versus Liverpool, big game at Old Trafford. Manu and Tottenham are the two teams that will have a big say in this title run-in. To Tottenham as much as the team Zote, I think Manu is uh, Liverpool na Arsenal. Uh, before we start, tutakwa pale Kenfield, tutakwa na Nyash na Football Digest, watching the game live, so come and join us. Where do we start? Ten Hag. Ten Hag is trying to build a team that can thrive in chaos. He's trying to show that this team can, like when there's chaos, this team can thrive. But what he doesn't know is that he was merely adopted by chaos. Yet Klopp, Klopp was born in it. Klopp was molded by it. Heavy metal football. And I think Ten Hag cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that uh, heavy metal chaotic football. So, Lazima relax ball. You just a two counter. We don't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Liverpool because they will pick you apart. Last game in the FA Cup uh, is going to be... Um, I told us a lot about how United played. I don't think it's going to be as crazy as that, which is funny because that game ended 4-3. This one against Chelsea ended 4-3. I don't think the game will be that high scoring. My first key of the game, Liverpool need to make more of their dominant periods of the game. Wanna, wanna, wanna dominate sana in certain parts of the game, right? But they're not as clinical. They start games really slowly. So, like, I think it's been 19 games all uh, in in all competitions where they've gone one nil down, including the FA Cup game. Ile Lisha 4-3, McTominay scored within 10 minutes, and yeah, Liverpool just need to start better and actually make more, be more clinical in those dominant periods. Um, they had 83.1% possession versus Sheffield United, which is the highest recorded since 06 or 07. That is insane. So those are moments where they need to be very clinical. I think it is a blessing in disguise the fact that United don't have Lisandro and because he's just been not because he's not good but the fitness aspect right and Johnny Evans and Varane I really think Kambola is going to be much better because to be honest out of those all those center backs be it age or injury he's the most mobile he's the one who can move about so he's going to make at least he's going to make it tougher for for Liverpool but again he's inexperienced so that's the biggest knock on him but we've seen even Kobe Mano is inexperienced but he's doing big things so I think it's a blessing in disguise United uh kutokuwa na kina Lisandro na Varane like kwanza Casemiro should not start this game Casemiro akiendelea kutembea vile alitembea game ya Chelsea hii game nayo msahau kama fans wa Man U msahau tu kabisa um Salah and Nunez need to be closer together what we've seen is that Liverpool actually are way more chaotic in a good way um, in a controlled way when Salah and Nunez, they create chances together. And Atakama Nunez atakona gonga post killer sa, he really gets in dangerous positions. So that is something that we need to look out for. For both United, United need to stop that. They need to keep them apart, right? That is the key for United. Um, and by keeping them apart, that means you're not bringing... McAllister is the one who's been really unlocking these two. So you need to make sure McAllister is nullified. That boy... Is on a different level. He has scored and assisted in the last six games. Uh, first Liverpool player to do it since TVG, I think, in 07. Kitukayo. Um, and then for Liverpool as well, and this is also the key for United, United need to put Rashford in dangerous positions. I believe Rashford is going to start this game. Rashford has played uh, Liverpool 17 times. He has scored seven times. Those seven goals he has scored have all come at home in the last nine games. So him against Liverpool, he loves me against Liverpool. But one thing they also did in the FA Cup, Il Kwana Ovalo to the left side. They were really going on the left side, um, their left side, that is Liverpool's right side. Uh, Bradley, I know Bradley is not Trent, but uh, they tend to attack, attack a lot with their fullback. So I think that that still remains the key. And then on the right side, I know, um, I don't know, I don't know if you really, if you start with Ganacho or you bench him, because Anthony played really well against Chelsea, probably his best game as a United player. So... Um, it's going to be really tough to be, it's going to be really tough benching him, but I still believe Rashford has a big say in this game. And he was rested in midweek, so maybe he was being rested for this game. The one thing that I know, I, I, I one of Rashford or Ganacho has to start, right? I would start with Rashford and Ganacho, but then it'd be quite unfair on Anthony, who's played quite well, and he's a uh, he actually tracks back, you know, even played left back in the FA Cup game. Like, um, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know how you start, um, but. Um, yeah, you had to need to overload the left. That is how I think. Those are the things I think that those are where, that's where the game is going to be won and lost, in my opinion. Prediction time. I believe United are going to make this a very close game simply because they are younger. They have they can actually run as long as Casemiro doesn't start and McTominay has to start. You have to start McTominay somehow. You have to start Kamboala. Because you need the legs in midfield. The older guys do not have legs. Yes, they have experience, but they do not have legs. Casemiro, Alikwana, Pitona, Nick Jackson, Munyakwata, and a sprint. So, 
that has to be the, the young guys have to play they just have to start this game um, but i still believe liverpool have too much for them liverpool will win this game i think 2-1 and yeah go back to the top of the table and we have a very good title running for the next few months peace